State Prophet Johnson. Y'all know what to do right quick. Call that friend, call that neighbor, and let them know, guys, you've got to go ahead and tune in right quick to Living Strong because Prophet Johnson is telling it like it is, and there's no other way to tell it but besides that way. We're going to get started. We're talking about uh, uh, the wild seed. Living life, loving God, there's a whole lot of things that is happening and a whole lot of things that are happening and a whole lot of things that will continue to happen. Even in today's time when we see that Bible declares that in the last days men hearts would fail them because of fear, that the love of many would wax cold. And why is this, where is this cold love coming from? Have you ever thought about that? This cold love, this love, this um. Uh, hit it, quit it, and then forget it. You know, love them and leave them. You know, remember when we used to do that? And uh, there are just things that are happening right now that should wake up the lives of each and every individual there is. And the reason why a lot of us is not paying attention, it is because many have just taken things for granted. Now, we're going to go ahead and get started as I'm bumping around back and forth here because I want to make sure that I get this run down so that each and every one of us will be fed with a good meal that will help us according to the Word of God. Okay, and so let's go ahead and get started. And uh, we're going to look at the book of Jeremiah today. Talking about the wild seed. And I'm just jotting down a few few things here so that we don't miss nothing. And let's go ahead and get started. Jeremiah chapter number two. And um, first of all, Israel must repent. America must repent. The nations must repent. The people must repent. We as a whole must repent. Yes, we have all sinned and come short of the glory of God. And there are things that we do that we are ashamed of from time to time. And hey, nevertheless, we pull ourselves together and move on. But I want to start with uh, Jeremiah chapter number two. And we're going to move real quick uh, over to some of the other verses here. Moreover, verse number one. Moreover, the word of the Lord came to me saying, every time the word of God comes, when you hear the word moreover, over, more, that means he wants to give you more over than what you already have. So when you hear the word of God, God always is an increasing God. Go and cry in the ears of Jerusalem, saying, Thus saith the Lord, I remember thee, the kindness of thy youth, the love of thine espousal, when thou wentest after me in the wilderness and in a land that was not sown. So I, I remember when you didn't have nothing, when you was out and you sought for me in the wilderness, in a land that was not broken, when you was a wild seed, that was when you came after me with all of your heart. The espousal mean that you was married to me. Even though we, hallelujah, know that you are married, God, to the backslider, but at that, at that time it was not a backslider. They was one, walking with God, increasing with God. And so where are we now? Brokenness. Okay? Israel was holiness. Israel was holiness unto the Lord and the first fruit of his increase. All that devour him shall offend. Evil shall come upon them, saith the Lord. Don't mess with Israel. Everything that touches Israel, you know, I'm, I'm going to offend, defend, and then on top of that, guess what? Evil is coming to your house. Hear the word of the Lord, O house of Jacob, and all the families of the house of Israel. Thus saith the Lord, What iniquity have your fathers found in me, that they gone after that they have, that they are gone far from me, and have walked after vanity, and have become vain? What did I do to them? saith the Lord. How did I hurt you? What made you turn away from me and to go after the system, to go after the greed, to go after the lust and the pride of life, the lasciviousness and those things that turn men heart away from me? What did I do wrong to you? Neither said they were 
Where is the Lord that brought us up out of the land of Egypt? Where is the God that saved us from COVID-19? Where is the God that done brought us through the pandemic? Where is the God that shut, allowed the church to be shut down? Where are the praise? Where is the worship? That led us through the wilderness, got us through the pandemic, forest fires, earthquakes, everything, hell on earth. And where is this God? He said, what? Well, where did we lose him at? God said, have y'all forgotten about me? That brought us through the wilderness, wild sea, through the land of the desert and pits, through the land of drought and of the shadow of death, through a land that no man passed though, through and where no man dwelt. And I brought you into a plentiful country, America, to eat the fruit thereof and the goodness thereof. But when you entered, you defiled my land and made my inheritance an abomination. You went after other gods. You wanted to be your own God. Everybody wanted to be somebody. The priest, hello, pastors, said not. Where is the Lord? Even the preachers. Uh, we're not saying where is God. We're saying where is the offering plate? Pass the bucket. And, and they handle the law. And they that handle the law. I'm in Jeremiah chapter number 2 verse number 8. And they that handle the law knew me not. <laughs> the governors. The lawyers. The senators, the police, if they knew God, then they would treat mankind right. I don't have time for that. They knew me not. The pastors also transgressed against me. Hello? We're all guilty. Pastors transgressed against God. And the prophets, here it is. Prophesied by Baal, <laughs> went to the soothsayers, lying, getting people telephone numbers and information and calling it out in the church off of a check. Everybody said, woo, is there anybody here whose name is Mary? Oh, that's me. That's because we looked at your check in the back and we saw your name on there. You live on East Broaden Street. Oh, he's a man to God. You got a thousand dollars? Yes, I do. Here it is. And the prophets prophesied by Baal and walked after things that do not profit. That do not profit. You see, what happened? is that they prophesied to you false prophecies that did not profit. The hook, the shuck, the rattle, the roll, give me a line, a hundred people with a hundred dollars. Folks, it didn't profit you nothing. Bring your, uh, tomorrow night we're going to have a, a debt elimination service and I want you to bring your light bill, your water bill, your house note, and bring it up here. And we're going to burn it at the altar. People are running up there, taking their light bill, water bill, house note, burning it in there, and shouting, and the pastor said, now I want y'all to show that light bill money, show that rent money, and believe God by faith that he is going to turn it around for you in the next 30 days. Next 30 days, your light off. Next 30 days, your water off. Next 30 days, you getting ready to get evicted from the house. And what is the pastor doing? Sitting back, eating, drinking, being merry. Don't y'all be crazy. You got the truth teller in the house. I'm trying to show y'all this. Captain, we got a long way to go, a short time to get there. Uh, they did things that, do, that don't, don't even profit. No. Uh, prof, 
if you still getting prophesied a house in a car, I see the Lord blessing you with a new car. Run back there and touch that door three times and come up here and shout and praise God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Folks, you can go to the junkyard and get a car. Oh, me. Wherefore, I, I will yet, verse number nine, Jeremiah chapter number two, wherefore, I will yet plead with you, saith the Lord, and with your children's children will I plead. Ah, oh, God help us. The children know the way. And God said, I not only plead with you, but I'm pleading with your children. Because you're dealing with a wild sea. But yet, yes, it is time to yet praise God. It is time to pull off the face mask. Time to put on the mantle and to get into a place to say, Lord, I thank you every day. Can I tell it, Jesus? Tell it. He said, this is an individual battle now. He said, you are a scattered seed. You may be in the church among many, but each seed is after their own field and their own growth. And your individual battle is to fight for your life, to fight for your children, to fight for your family, to fight in the name of the Lord Jesus and call those things that be not as though they were because the Lord is saying that the trumpet is soon to sound. Prepare yourselves. The only thing that's holding God back is the Holy Spirit. Only he who let it will let until he be taken out of the way. And the Father is saying, I'm trying to hearts of man. And right now we are dealing with space and time and time skipping. We're in a quantum leap and we're in a dead zone. Uh, we're also in space time continuum uh, locked in by the clock. Uh, the timing chain uh, and the ship of the dove uh, beginning to roll in. Uh, oh, get your house in order, uh, children, uh, because we're going home. Uh, after a while, the day is dawning and the night is coming in. Get your cup barrier ready. Get your oil lamp ready and be watching because he's coming like a thief in the night. You done stole from God, but he gonna steal from the earth and he gonna snatch us out within the moment, within the twinkling of of an eye, we shall be caught up to be with the Lord, and forever shall we remain with him. I don't know about you, saints, but we're in that time to where the glory is coming back, praise is coming back. I see the wind of revival that God said, I got a birth brand new. I'm calling my children to higher heights and deeper debt. This is the wild seed shape. My brothers and sisters in Christ, this determination to unlock the value of who you are is the word that God has given you right now. You are about to procreate and produce like never before from the power in the return. Somebody is saying, I'm getting this, I'm getting this. It's individual. Why can't you say that? It's an individual warfare. Oh, me. And he's turning the value of who you are from the inside out. We are being made. We are in the gauntlet. We are in the fire. We are in fullest soap now. The refiner's fire. That's what we are. We're being tested. And I got news for you. Every devil that think they holding you right now. Every devil that think it has you right now. God has already and is already making a way of escape. It better not mess with you.
Because God will take you out among and away from among the very thing that thinks it has you more than God. He's jealous. He loves you and I too much to let the enemy mess up our lives. We got to get to some good stuff here, y'all. But Prophet Johnson, I thought we was in the good stuff. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. Y'all, yeah. let, let me just show y'all this. Let me read this, brothers and sisters. So if y'all bear with me, I'll try to act like I know what I'm doing. Verse number 10. For pass over the isles of Shittim, and see, and send unto Kedar, and consider diligently, and see if there be such a thing. Go, go from city to city. Go, go, go to the good places. Find out anything, okay? Hath a nation changed their gods? Go check it out. What do we change our God at? God of money. God of greed. Come on, let's tell it like it is. And, and, and I done told y'all what's happening. With this money and the land and all this stuff, I told y'all they're going to get you. They're going to get every bit of it back because they are jacking up prices everywhere. It don't make no sense. People are out there. It, it, it's a shame. And then you go to a restaurant. The food is half no good. The people don't care. They chunk it out the window. Dry food. At, 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 I don't even have time for it. They, it, it, it just, it just a, it, 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 I, I am so through. The only restaurant you're going to find is in your kitchen. Hath a nation changed their gods, which are yet no gods, but my people have changed their glory for that which doth not profit. That, 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 why? Why do we change the glory? Where's the glory of the church? Where's your revivals now? Go to them. Go to your pre a pastor's appreciation. Run to your men's conference. Run to your women's conference. I tell you a secret preacher. The answer is called the gospel tent. And the devil is scared as hell that Prophet Johnson is going to get under a gospel tent secret to y'all. Wow, wow, wow. Hey, pastor, you better go get it. Hey, prophet, you better go get it. Hey, preacher, you better go set it out. Because I'm going to help you like I did last time. You want to make some money, get the streets. Get out of the church. Go make your money. Tell it like it is. You did it before. Now do it again. <laughs> you better watch it. You better watch it. Better watch it. Because now you got to have heat. Here we go. Captain, we're having a good time, aren't we? Captain, enjoying this, y'all. Have changed the glory for that which doth not profit. You better believe it. You left, the, you, left, you left the prophet. When I say prophet, no, I don't mean prophet as in male or female. You left the prophet for the, pro, for the non-prophet. So you left what was profiting you in life. So not only did you leave the prophet male, but you left what was profiting y'all in life. So when you walked off and you left the prophet, you left what was profiting you. So that's why a fool in this money shall soon depart. And I thank God that I'm no longer the fool that they depart their money from to it no more. Ha! <laughs> Look at what he says. Be astonished. No, we're not going to do that. It, see, this word is not, see, y'all can't handle it, but you think you can because you're not going to be astonished. Be astonished. No. Oh, you uh, heavens, be astonished. Oh, you heavens at this land. In other words, we're not going to be astonished on earth. So what is God saying? God is so desperate. God is saying to the stars and heaven and moon and, and Jupiter and all the galaxy, y'all look at them dummies on earth. Be a stuck. The heavens are looking like, oh Lord, when are the, they going to get it together, Jesus? The heavens are, Lord, help us. Be astonished, oh you heavens, at this, and be horribly afraid. And 
be very desolate, saith the Lord. God, God telling everything else in heaven run from the, the isn't that something? For my people have committed two evils. Two evils. Let's see what they are. They have forsaken me, the fountain of the living waters. What? Come on. We need to have a church named Holy Ghost Pentecostal Fountain of the Living Waters Church. <laughs> you know what I mean? Come on. They done left the living water. What they got now? Budweiser. Corn liquor. <laughs> Here we go. It hewed them out cisterns, broken cisterns that can hold no water. In other words, they done went and got a whole new way of life to try to build something and something that's broken and that can't hold anything because he is the living water. Israel, a servant, is he a homeborn slave? <laughs> God is rough. God, y'all forgive me. I've already read all this. Is Israel a servant? <laughs> is, is Prophet Johnson a servant? Are, are you a servant? Is he a homeborn slave? <laughs> this is not funny. Why is he spoiled? Why? Why are we so spoiled? Are you a homeborn slave? You're a free child. God set you free. Whom the Lord set free is free indeed. So who doesn't spoil you with them tennis shoes? With the little whatever. We love it. We love it. Who messed us up? The president with that, with that stimulus check? You got your own power. Don't even want to go to work for three hundred dollars and seven thousand and fourteen thousand for all baby them those children, and then you sitting up with a fourteen hundred dollar magnitude check, and on top of that they stealing it with the chicken wings, and then you got a chicken pot pie, and you done lost half of your eyesight and can't even see what God is trying to say. I set you free with food stamps, yeah, but you but you still can't see God. Are you a homeborn slave? God help us. We won't give God nothing. Cap, I guarantee you, we get a, 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 a pet, a pet em cure. We'll get a madam cure. Uh, we'll get a Botox assist. We'll get a breast deflation. We'll get a stomach intuction. We'll get all of them, those things. Won't we? Come on. The men on TV got all the big muscles on all your movie shows, working out, strutting, and everything else. Pick up a woman with one hand and hold her out like a baby and kiss her. Done took more steroids than a sterilized line. And on top of that, got the muscles, but ain't nothing going on downstairs. You got 20-inch frame on the arm, but the 2-inch frame on the bottom. So women, don't be deceived by the muscles. Y'all crazy. We crazy. Just like the men. Can't it? But, but Lord, help us, Jesus. Huh. Verse number 15. The young lions roared upon him and yelled, and they made his land waste. The cities are burned without inhabitants and took the land forest, rain forest, cutting down the Congo, animals crossing over in China, Tibet, and everywhere else. It's crazy. It's crazy. Also, the children of Noph and Tahafnes have broken the crown of thy heads, rebellious children. Hast thou not procured this unto thyself, in that thou hast forsaken the Lord thy God when he led thee by the way. 
That must be sleep. And now what hast thou to do in the way of Egypt? To drink the water of Sahor? <laughs> you lost everything else. Now you're going to get somebody else stuff. Or what hast thou to do in the way of Assyria? To drink the waters of the river? Here it is. Verse number 19. This is true. Y'all better listen. For thine own wickedness shall correct thee. You didn't hear that. You didn't hear that. God said the devil that you got and the devil that you serve every day is going to be the devil that's going to straighten you out. <laughs> Woo! It, you better believe it. He said your own sin is going to tear your butt up. Your wickedness, your dirtiness, your witchcraft, your sorcery, it's going to come back to you and tear your butt up. Your stealing, your lying, your cheating, your hypocrisy, it's going to wear that butt out. Sit back and watch. We haven't got to the good part yet. Thine own wickedness shall correct thee, and thy backsliding shall reprove thee. Know therefore and see that it is an evil thing and bitter, that thou hast forsaken the Lord thy God, and that my fear is not in thee, it is not in us, it is not in the people, it is not in America, it is not on the home, it is not on the job. Said the Lord God of hosts, it's not there. For of old time I have broken thy yoke. Remember? When you came crying unto the Lord, ooh, ooh, I accept Jesus Christ, yeah, Lord, oh, forgive me for my sin, I'm so dirty, God, clean you up. You like walk around with a big old sunspot on your head, and, and God put, and then now you got a little olive oil up there to make you shine, and then all of a sudden, everybody see you saved, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost, got a mind to burn the fire, you shut it up, oh, God, 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 speak in tongues, oh, Lord. What happened to it? The yoke is destroyed because of the anointing. You lost the anointing. That's why the yoke can be destroyed. Pastor, you can play with it if you want. Play with it, child. Mock me. Talk about me. Put me down. But the fire in the sword is going to visit your house. You see, because you're judging the truth. Don't judge it. Get with it. Captain gave me one minute. We got to close. For of old time I have broken thy yoke and burst thy bands. And thou saidest, I will not transgress. Went up on every high hill and under every tree thou wonders and played the harlot. You said, God, I'm going to get my life together. I'm not going to mess up. And then God said, you went out there and became a whore all over again. Yet I planted thee. We'll pick it up tomorrow night right here. Yet I planted thee a noble vine. I made you royal. I made you rich. I made you blessed. I gave you cars. I gave you houses. Holy a right seed. You loved me. You went to church. You praised me. How then art thou turned into a degenerate plant of a strange vine under me? How is it that you done turned into somebody I don't even know? Now you done got blessed. You done got stinking. You done got beside yourself. You got a little house, you got a little car, you got a little boyfriend, you got a little girlfriend, a husband, a wife, and you got a little something in your pocket with a $2 food stamp. And now you can't remember God because you done went to McDonald's and bought up all the chicken nuggets. That's my time. Thank you for yours. This is Prophet Johnson. We're talking about living life, loving God, the wild seed. I'll see y'all tomorrow night. Bye.